Motat approached us and wanted to move away from coal and we prepared uh, a briquette made out of wood that could be used in a steam uh, tram. The briquettes are made out of bark, so these, this is um, residuals from forestry processes. Um, we've um, broken it down into small powder and then used a, a bit of pressure in, in what's called a roll of briquette to produce these briquettes that can just be shoveled into the boiler. So obviously the world's moving on and we're looking for a more environmentally friendly alternative. Uh, a heritage engine like this was designed to run on coke or coal, um, but these days we, we want to move to something else. So the, um, the Scion biofuel is an alternative that we can look at using that still allows us to run the engine. So we can keep it out, keep it um, visible for the public to see and come and experience. We don't have to just lock it away in a shed. Uh, and, and it means that we can keep using it as it was intended to run. We've already made one change from what this would have originally run on um, because there's no gas works anymore and they were horrible polluting things. We don't run on coke, which this would have originally run on. So coal has always been a bit of a, an interim step for us. So actually moving to something else that, that's still a solid fuel but gives us the same way of running, it fits with what we've been doing for, for the last 50 years or so. Um, so I think that's good and it's much better than having to shut it down completely. But biofuels can be used in a range of different um, applications, whether it's steam trams, um, big boilers like Fonterra or Danone have for, it, for milk processing, or indeed converting it into liquid fuels as well. So it's just one good example of how you can use biomass to produce energy.